Welcome. We are continuing discussion about APS. Today's topic with Ferran and Nuri, what are the functions of advanced planning and scheduling? Hello, everyone. Basically, we can speak for four different functions, and I will speak for two of them. So the main important function of APS is that it has the demand planning functionality and planning of production. So demand planning is to generate an accurate forecast based on the actual demand or based on the previous sales data. So APS can import the data of previous years uh, and analyze these data so that it can generate for you the production orders. So the production orders will be created at the exact quantities that are needed. And this will reduce your inventory cost, it will reduce waste, and it will ensure that the products will be available to meet the customer needs. The second function is the planning of production. So APS can plan the processes to carry out various activities. So by this way, the system makes sure that it checks that you have the raw materials available so that it can assign them to the work orders. It is using reservations to assign these reservations to work orders. It also makes sure that you have enough resources available for the work orders to be executed. So check the sheets, the calendars, and their settings so that it can assign correct to the workstations. And also it can make the products at the specified quantities, which we mentioned in the demand plan. We can proceed with the uh, next two functions. Okay, welcome again. Uh, we will discuss about the scheduling of the production. Scheduling, it's always used to a kind of sorting of your result. But if you are looking for uh, the best scheduling it should optimize based on some constraints one of them can be your tools for the each machine for each product so you can decrease your setup with this way you can optimize all your uh, production based on alternative machine alternative uh, tools the second again when you schedule the other important topic is labor so each labor has different skills and you have resource for the your operator so based on this resource system should schedule and optimize the other one work order uh, sequence and the other constraints what kind of constraints we are talking it can be calendar there can be one factory calendar and also you can have some specific calendar for each workstation an example one workstation can work two shift another can work three shift one workstation can work five days, another can work six days, is Saturday or Sunday. So you can define specific days. And also when you schedule maintenance, other topic is maintenance is so important and unexpected delay and real-time data collection. So there can be around 20, 30 different constraints. The other one, dispatching. So if you have available stock on time near the machine, so you will not have unexpected stops means you will have great scheduling so everything will be on time and you will increase your customer satisfaction so in this case APS should generate these stocks movement for each work order for each machine so the second APS should ensure you all the materials are available before this work order plan and another the last part it's so critical again you have to have full traceability to check all your stocks and also understand the reason why you are not able to schedule this production. So these are the today's topic. Uh, see you next time. Thank you so much, Yure. Thank you, guys. For more content, please visit our website uh, or watch more videos. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.